Hey Virgos, welcome back to Sophia Monet Tarot. It's your girl Sophia Monet. I'm coming back to do your weekly readings. This is for Virgos. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, and Jupiter. Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, what's going on with Virgos this week for their love life? <clears throat> welcome back to the channel, you guys. Missed you guys. It's been that type of week for me. Busy and stressful. So, yeah, I'm just getting your readings out today on Friday. <clears throat> so, Virgos, what's going on? Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit. We have the Ace of Cups, okay? We have the Knight of Wands. And we have the Three of Wands, okay? This could be a long distance connection for some of you. Some of you could have just met someone new, okay? Are you talking to someone new? This could be someone younger than you, a younger fire sign for some of you. Uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Take it as it resonates. Could be you or your person's energy that I'm picking up. As I always say, the stories could be flipped or reversed. So please put the characters where they go for your personal situation. I feel like some of you have met someone new. Like I said, could be someone at a distance. Does not have to be. Someone could be feeling very emotional. Ace of Cups. Wanting to start something with you. Feeling very like turned on and attracted to you with the Knight of Wands. But there's a feeling of waiting or having to wait, needing to wait. Something could be held as a secret here with the high priestess. Could be a Pisces for some of you. Okay, someone coming back in. Five of Cups. Could be asking for forgiveness for, for some of you. Mm. Someone could also just be sad. It doesn't have to be them asking for forgiveness with the Five of Cups. They could feel sad because they have a lot of deep emotion for you they are possibly trying to use their intuition they could be watching the situation holding back page of swords with the four of pentacles wanting to take this leap of faith feeling sad without you okay what is the, okay what what just flew out we have the five of swords that flew out we have the nine of cups and the world card okay so someone could be wanting to restart something. Yeah, wanting to come see you. Ace of Cups. I said Ace of Cups. This is the Eight of Wands. <laughs> the Ace of Cups already came out. Yeah, so I feel like that may be pressing. Like they need to let you know how they feel. Ace of Cups. Like I want to show Virgo my feelings, my emotions. They could be trying to strategize a plan right now with the Five of Swords to show you what they want, what they desire. <clears throat> they could be completing a cycle right now, okay? Or wanting to start a whole new chapter with you, with the world card. Okay, okay. <laughs> the cards. Let's get right into it. Ace of Cups, show me. <clears throat> for Virgos, Virgos for their love life. Ace of Cups. We have the Three of Cups, okay? Okay. There you are, Virgo. Okay, Queen of Pentacles. And then that Five of Swords is back out. Okay, so it was, it was meant to stay out. <laughs> I put it back in the deck. Eight of Swords is at the bottom of the deck. Okay. Eight of Swords, Queen of Swords. Could be dealing with an air sign for some of you. An Aquarius in particular. Yeah, someone, it's like they keep thinking about you. They're traveling toward you. For some of you, it could be a water sign. Someone is coming toward you, okay, with an offer. Knight of Cups, King of Cups, Six of Swords. They're approaching with caution here. Will of Fortune, this is the plan to come toward you, okay? But you could be nervous about this person. You could be nervous about accepting their offer or talking to them, okay? Okay. What's that Queen of Pentacles? Yeah, Two of Cups. They see you as someone that they want to be with. You could be seeing this person as someone you want to be with. What's the Five of Swords, please? Nine of Swords. Yeah, someone is strategizing. Could be overthinking. A bit of anxiety here on what to do. Seven of Cups. Okay. Two of Wands. What path to take with you? Yeah. Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands bit of nervous energy what's this knight of wands yeah ten of wands someone is feeling a bit overwhelmed here 
about an apology or just simply opening up and talking to you. Page of Cups, Ten of Swords, okay, about something that ended or something that they did to hurt you. What's that Ten of Swords? What happened? Judgment, okay, Knight of Cups, and Five of Cups. Yeah, someone is coming in with an apology. Like, it's very clear. What happened with that Ten of Swords? What happened with the Ten of Swords? Two of Swords. Okay. Someone is trying to figure out if something is really over between the two of you. Is it over? Has it ended? Mmm. Ooh. They could be thinking that you're uh, already dating other people. Whoa, what was that? Something flipped over in the deck as well. With the three of pentacles, five of pentacles, nine of wands. They don't want to lose you. This person doesn't want you to go. They don't want to lose you. Trying to work something out here. Who is this person? Hold on. Before I ask that, let me clarify the three of wands. Show me the three of wands. What is this distance or waiting? What fell out? King of pentacles. I already showed you the queen. Yeah, King of Pentacles, the hard font could be a Taurus in particular or a, just another earth sign. We have the Three of Swords and the Page of Wands. Yeah, someone is coming to talk to you about this heartbreak. They feel sad. Okay, Virgo, I feel like they're coming in to be with you, to show you that they've matured. They want to apologize. They're very on fire for you. Okay. With that ace of wands wanting a new start. Oh, with the devil energy. Whoa. Definitely feeling sexually attracted to you. For some of you, a Capricorn, this person is feeling like obsessively attracted to you wanting to start this with you virgo who is this person show me who this person is who's coming in for virgo a king of cups could be a water sign or just someone with emotion someone who has a lot of emotion for you which is what i said at the beginning ace of wands is back out they have passion for you could be a capricorn yeah it's back out the same cards i just showed you yeah, this person, they have a lot of obsessive thoughts and feelings and desire for you. Okay, who is this person? Seven of Pentacles could be someone from your past. Six of Swords that you moved on from. King of Swords. Woo, okay. Mm, they know you have your guard up. Five of Wands. Oh, could be a Leo for some of you with the strength card here. This person ended something with you. Maybe they were trying to build their money <clears throat> or their finances. They could have been fighting. If you, the two of you have children, there could have been fighting over children. Someone wants to come in with a big offer. They have a lot of feeling. We have a Queen of Cups back here. Some of you dealing with a Cancer or a Sagittarius with the Chariot and the Temperance. Some of you could have waited on this person to offer something, but you haven't heard from this person. They could have ghosted. For some of you, I'm seeing that this person is, is from like your past from like a long time ago could be 10 years or more take that as it resonates how is virgo feeling about this connection how is virgo feeling about this connection we have temperance here we have the full energy yeah so you're not rushing to take this leap of faith although you could have feelings for this person okay queen of cups they already showed up as the king of cups you're not rushing to take this leap of faith. You're taking your time with this person. How's Virgo feeling? The strength card. Yeah, you're being strong. You're holding your ground. 
the uh, Sun card, Leo's energy here, back to back, and Knight of Cups. Yeah, you want to be happy, but it's almost like you're going to make this person work for that happiness with you. Okay? Ten of Cups. Ooh, some of you are not over a Scorpio. Okay? The Death card with the Eight of Swords. Some of you keep thinking about an ending with the Scorpio. Maybe this is a person that if you were dealing with the Scorpio, maybe this person put you in the mode of the Queen of Swords. Even though you still have feelings for them, they're coming out as the King of Swords over here, okay? If you're dealing with the Scorp. <clears throat> I feel like you think about this ending with this person. And some of you, it's like, I just want to be happy. I just want to be happy. That's my desire is to be happy. So that's why you're taking your time. For some of you, I'm feeling like your last relationship, you overgave and you ended up hurt or wounded. And so now it's hard to trust this new person. It's hard to trust. That's why you're trying to take things slow. Potential outcome for this week. Well, the Queen of Swords. We have the Hermit, your energy, Virgo. And we have the Star. Yeah, some of you still need to heal. You still need to heal from a past relationship or something that you just ended. Something that maybe have fizzled out. And if it's this person that's coming back, who you ended things with or they ended things with you, it's like you still need time to heal before you can trust this person fully. That's what I'm saying. What are the initials coming out for Virgo and this person? This could be a person, place, or thing that will resonate with these letters. What initials or what letters are coming through? We have the letter U. The letter E. The letter G. The letter S. The letter R. The letter X. And the letter C coming through. Let me, let me come to this deck. What emotions are coming through for Virgos and this person? What emotions? We have awe. Someone could be in awe of you. Feeling sympathy. Or they're beginning to sympathize with you. What they put you through. Satisfaction. Okay, someone could be wanting to bring satisfaction to this situation. I also feel closure with that for some of you and empathy. Yeah, I feel like if someone wasn't understanding before, it's like they understand now what they put you through or what they did. And that's why some of you need to heal. Mm. Advice for Virgos in this situation. Advice for Virgos, please. Compromise, yeah. There's going to have to be some type of compromise here, okay? Where this person would have to be sympathetic or empathetic. And if it's not them in this reading who you've had an ending with, I feel like this new person in your life, they have to understand if you had an ending with someone else and you're not completely healed or you're not completely ready to go to that next level with them. Because this person may be gung-ho and ready to jump into marriage or something like that. And you may be like, I'm not quite ready for that. So the two of you are going to have to compromise. I also feel a compromise coming with your living situation. If you're long distance from this person, there's going to have to be some type of compromise with the two of you, you know, figuring out where we're going to live. How can we be together? There needs to be a compromise. Because I feel like uh, there's been a bit of a power struggle with where someone lives. That could have been a big argument. Choose a new direction is coming out. And listen to your intuition. I think I said that at the beginning with the high priestess. I could have said it. That, that could have been on this ring. <laughs> Y'all, sometimes I forget. Perfect timing. Something happening in perfect timing. Okay. 
Listen to your intuition. Some of you, you need to choose a new direction, okay? After, uh, for some of you, after you have healed, you'll be able to compromise with this person and choose a new direction with this person. But still, listen to your intuition. If you're not ready, you're not ready, okay? If you're not ready to get married or be in some type of long-term commitment, don't allow anyone to push you into a place of, we need to do this now, okay? Also, be assertive and let this person know where you're at. Don't be afraid to speak up, okay? And let somebody know, like, hey, I'm not ready or, you know, I just need some more time. I need more time before I'm in a committed relationship. Very specific energy today, okay? This week for your reading, uh, Virgos. But I hope you enjoyed your reading. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, Sophia Monet Tarot. Also, my new channel, Sophia Monet Talks, uh, where I will be doing product reviews, chats, and all kinds of stuff over there on that other channel. So make sure you check it out. I would appreciate your support to grow that new channel. Uh, the link is in the channel section of this page, okay? And also, don't forget to pick up my book, Sleeping Adam. It is available on Amazon today. Go ahead and pick it up today, you guys. Yes, your girl is an author, so I would appreciate your support for my book. The link is in the description box below this video, so check it out. All right, you guys, take care. Bye.